So hello everyone, this year has been very impactful for an international student, policy changes and also job market affecting the number of students coming to the US itself. Some of the departments in San Jose State University, God of coming here, have lost 50% of the students. For example, I met a student from Data and Intelligence Department. He said that students were half from the last year. But in case of CS, they are more than last year as well. Up CS, right? I'm from software engineering. Software engineering. They, they are way more than last year as well. So it is mixed of information people are receiving. It is true that international students are less coming this year than last year. But now we have a policy which is clear that H1B 100k fees does not apply to international students. They have advantage because more students here have opportunities to be got, to be hired here. And today we're going to talk more about the job market and what he thinks about studying in the US coming as a student in 2024. So hi Gaurav, can you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone, I'm Gaurav. Back in India, I'm from Pune. I did my uh, bachelor's back in India. Uh, from Pune University uh -huh. uh, and it was in mechanical engineering uh -huh. and now I moved here to San Jose State. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm doing my software engineering from San Jose State University. So currently, up Sida Batana, like what do you think has changed regarding job market in the last one year you have seen? Because like whenever I go to San Jose State University, mm -hmm. like Silicon Valley is the only place where I see more than 60% of students always with internships, with jobs. So what is the secret and what do you think about it? Uh, I think uh, company ke paas rena is one of the biggest advantage that San Jose stu students have or compared to like my mere dost udhar bhi padhte hain Stony Brook University which is a uh, much better university in terms of like research and the ranking but udhar ke students ko utna advantage nahi milta kyunki you know proximity to the companies uh, even after hiring them they have to move and that's a big problem for companies. I think San Jose State students have a big advantage in that. So proximity to campus, campus yeah. and like overall, like the biggest advantage is that for example, I want to mention, I was talking to more students, San Jose State University, we are at a hackathon right now. Mm -hmm. So here there was tech week. There were 40 hackathons happening yeah. in one weekend of that tech week mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. and all over the Silicon Valley. Like uh, some some person gave me a number that there are less than 400 startups coming from Canada in a year. But if you just say, let's say 10, 10 good ideas come in each hackathon, mm -hmm. there'll be 400 projects in one day, which is more than four total startups coming from Canada. The number of innovation ha happening here is just mind blowing. Yeah. So uh, like, can you share like what numbers you see in terms of your department Aapko software engineering department mein kitne students hai, this year versus last year? 10% uh, increase, how increase? Uh, when I came in, I came in in fall 2024. Our department mein around 200 students, honge, MSSE specifically. Our department is CS, Data Analytics, Data Science. So combined, I think international students are 400-500 per semester. But I think there is a little drop in number of students. I think total fall 2025. But I think not significant. But software engineering the increase, you know, right? Yeah, software engineering has increased a little bit, I think. How much overall, if you define how much? I think 10-20% which is like a general rate because that is happening from like 2022. Uh -huh. We rate pay burden students. Yeah, because the reason is that job market is bad in other departments. For example, like the niche area of software engineering surrounding it. For example, there was computational media. Mm -hmm. Look, only for one of the field ke liye hai, data science oriented and software okay. engineering oriented because there are also opportunities. Hai. So people only want to go into where there's maximum opportunity and mm -hmm. they're only aiming for universities which are in the best location with better job market. And it is a fact. Universities which are in Atlanta, San Francisco, Bay Area mm -hmm. have very Way more double opportunities as I showed with the number of hackathons here mm -hmm. as compared to maybe in Stony Brook or maybe in other places with no respect disrespect to the universities like ASU Vagara people are coming from there directly here I saw someone from CMU here mm -hmm. so Aapke khayal se, what do you think about current job market kitne percentage ko job mil rahi hai and what do you see predictions ki kitne logo mil jayegi by 2025 2025 okay so I can give you with an example so for internships, I think around 60, 50 to 60 percent students had internship. So I think. And I how? Hamesha. Hamesha, I numbers. I think I saw an interview on YouTube of a student from San Jose State University. I think around 2021 year. So that was telling me every student, 100 percent of students had multiple offers. So that wow. was like much better times. 
currently we i think compared to other universities i think we are doing better in terms of uh, number of students getting internships and oh, getting jobs out amazing. of the university so and like you think like 90% of the students at san jose state university will be getting full time offers by 2026 and and uh, what was the number for 2025 as well uh, i i don't know much about numbers but i think everyone graduating from the university not, in your batch not out of university but uh, after some time they eventually like find a job Some amazing yeah. this is a great optimism needed what are the biggest strategies people use in silicon valley to get hired for example this is a griptile stripe hackathon mm -hmm. people come here to get hired mm -hmm. so what is the biggest strategy you've seen people using uh, i think uh, one of the advantage that we have being in the bay area is like networking so like one of my friends uh, he found his internship just by dming and a founder on twitter so like that's one of the way to go right so the founder said like you can just come to sf and we can just have a co uh, coffee chat so like he is one of the example that he got internship just to networking like the other uh, things that everyone can do is like apply early and like build a good resume good profile that everyone can do but we have an advantage that we can network with people so one example is same thing like we are here for a hackathon the founder is here and he told like if you are uh, graduating you can just talk to me and we are hiring so oh here right here in this yeah, hackathon yeah he ducks told that he's, oh wow yeah. amazing and and he also mentioned ki big tech has mass recruited people from silicon valley and they chose san jose state university they they do mass recruiting for internships every but they, but they choose silicon valley universities mm -hmm. and people shouldn't take lightly like san jose state university is not as easy as it used to be to get in mm -hmm. like for example i talked to some people in uh san jose state university they were going there because they got rejected from san jose state university do you think it's one of the most prestigious uni prestigious university students can aim for for who are still planning to come to the us i think they should definitely go for the benefits that comes with san jose state university like being in proximity to good companies and being in the bay area uh, that has significant advantages and i think we also rank like number 3 or 4 i don't know the exact number in like the public valley. universities in the west matlab mm -hmm. hamesha every year there is something new happening but there are still people fi finding like figuring the way out saw so someone from the valley told me they said ki i'm going to still come to the us if they don't get a job it's on me that means i should not be in tech industry if i cannot find a tech job after graduating here so i think you know amazon's leadership principle is called ownership i think sometimes you need to learn to put the blame on yourself rather than ki yaar market kharab hai to job nahi mili thi rather than ki yaar ki uh, policies change hai so job nahi mili hai or rather than blaming on external factors sometimes you have to learn to put the blame on yourself first and then on someone else ki agar aap mein capability hai if you're talented in india and you're smart in india you can prove yourself to be smart and crack here as well awesome thank you so much gaurav for sharing the insights it will motivate students that you know it's not the end uh, that people were so scared mm -hmm. but i think things are more positive for international student coming to the us than before awesome you agree yeah okay thank 100%. you so much